we get to hear a genuinely heartwarming story about how a team in 1972 can provide us with hope for 2020. The MacArthur Generals were undefeated that year, but they did something bigger than win the state championship. You've seen Remember the Titans, the movie based on Alexandria, Virginia in 1971. But did you know that Decatur has its own version of Remember the Titans? Believe it or not, that was part of our game routine. We would dance, we would clap hands, we would scramble around, and they could hardly get out of the parking lot because everybody was coming up and wanting to shake our hands and, and, yeah. and, and singing with us. And we were singing from Picket Field, just different yeah. songs all the way back to MacArthur High yeah. School. What a time. Because we played as a team, and back then, most people were divided. But when you look at that movie, how they came together is how we came together. But that 72 year just seemed like everything clicked and Bob Matheson had one heck of a football team. The year was 1972 and MacArthur was good. They had talent like Tim Helm, a punishing running back who would go on to Missouri, and Tony Stepney. Beat Griffin 39-6, Jacksonville 35-7. People were not scoring against us. Tony Stepney was the other half of the two-headed monster, a 200-pounder bound for Illinois State who helped make the Generals' wishbone offense hum. And hum they did, 8-0 with a tie against Springfield Griffin, the last DPS school to go without a loss. We scored like 300 points that year, and our opponents only scored like 46. The fans went nuts. Yeah. And they had a, a number one that was out of nowhere. Eight foot yeah. tall, we're number one undefeated, but you know, we, we just won your conference. You couldn't win, you know, go to playoffs. Okay. We'll never know how they would have done in a hypothetical playoff, but that doesn't mean that they didn't make an impact. Remember, this was 1972. This was a mixed race team. The 72 generals did something way more important than win a state title. They brought the community together in an authentic way. You know, we all were friends, best of friends. Somebody hit him, I'm kidding that person. <laughs> yeah. Put on the, the uniform and the helmet, you were all the same, everybody. Yeah. And we had one, like Tommy said, we had one goal, and that was to succeed. Plus for the week jersey, if you had a good game, the coaches recognized you, you got to wear a jersey, yes. and it was ugly. It ugly. had colors and stripes and plaids, and you wore it with so much pride That's when you right. got one. This one here was from the undefeated year. They helped each other out. That's the way it was. I mean, you know, we had several guys that, you know, started. Other guys came in to relieve them, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody got along. Everybody played good. We walk into school and just have impromptu pep rallies. It just wasn't a football team, but like I said, it was MacArthur High School. Even if there's tension in the community, which we didn't know anything about, but as our team came together as one, it really brought the school and the community together. <laughs> 